This is a video demonstration of BillPay, an electronic bill presentment and payment program built into Transact's Gateway. BillPay is listed under Modules and then select BillPay. Here you see the welcome screen which gives you a brief overview of what the system is. Uh, basically you have the ability to upload invoice data into BillPay. BillPay will send an email notification to all of your customers that they have a new invoice to view. The customers have a portal in which they can log into to see that invoice, make a payment towards it, uh, also see old invoices and their old payment history. Uh, and at the merchant's option, you can uh, allow them to create payments for the future and do partial payments as well. First of all, we'd look at getting new invoice data into the system. One of the options using the portal that you see here is to click the button to upload new invoices, where you can attach a file just like you would attach a file to an email. An example of that file would be shown here. Uh, it's a spreadsheet where you've got fields like account number, account name, populated on down below as necessary. Once you upload that file, then you can view your invoices. Um, I suppose before we get that, I should mention though there's three ways that you can get invoice data into the system. One is the portal that you see here. Uh, two is that we have a BillPay API where you can have another system programmatically send invoice data into BillPay. And then also our QuickBooks module has the ability to take QuickBooks invoices and send them up to BillPay as well. So your QuickBooks invoices can be presented online. Once invoice data is in the system, again, we can go to view invoices. There are some options to filter it, but if you just click search, it will show you a list of all of them. Uh, click on the magnifying glass to view any particular invoice and you'll see the details. Uh, it shows the Transax logo here, but that is configurable through the uh, setup process of your Gateway account. You can upload your own logo, and that's what would appear here instead. We also have a QR code, which if the customer scans that QR code with their smartphone or tablet, they'll be taken to a payment form in order to make a payment for that invoice. We also have the ability to manage our customers and users of BillPay. Customers are the companies that um, you are doing business with. So in this case, our demo merchant has business customers like Toys R Us, Staples, Office Depot. And the users are the individual people at those businesses that are logging into Bill Pay in order to make payments. You can edit any one of your users. You'll see their email address, uh, username, there's password management options. Uh, first name, last name, capabilities, uh, and then a list of the different modules of Transact Gateway that they have access to. In this case, it's just bill pay. In addition to managing our customers, we can also view some reports here. We can view uh, reports uh, which are transactions by payment. That is looking at one payment and showing all of the invoices that it applied to. In this case, we had a very large payment of $956, which covered all of the invoices that you see here. We also have the ability under view reports to look at transactions by invoice. Again, there's some filter options, or if you just click search, it will show you all of them. And here you're looking at uh, the invoices and which transactions applied to that invoice. If you click the magnifying glass next to any one of them, you'll actually go to the detail page of that particular invoice from the reports section of Transacts Gateway. Uh, also, uh, uh, under reports, our, our last one here, we have an aging report. Uh, this shows us uh, uh, by each customer what um, bills they have and according to how old they are, uh, 30, 60, 90 days old, and then also totals. If you click on any one of the, the uh, items, it will take you to the specific invoices that match that uh, particular uh, aging grid component. If we log out, we can also show you very briefly here what it looks like to be a cardholder. So once your customer receives an invoice or receives an email that they have an invoice to pay, they log in and they see the portal in front of you now. They would also see an aging grid and an outstanding invoice list, uh, of course, only relative to their own uh, invoices and their own activity. They have some options here at the top to manage their payment method. They can have as many cards on file as they would like uh, with the ability to update an existing card uh, changing the card number, changing the expiration date if they would like, or if they would like to remove one, that is an option as well. And of course, adding a new payment method would give them, in this case, a third option uh, to choose from when they're making a payment. As far as making a payment goes, they can go to pay bills here at the top. They'll see a list uh, with each line representing an invoice. Uh, in this case, they only have one invoice to pay, so there's only one line to pay. 
but uh, we'll check off that line in order to make a payment. It, you'll notice that the total amount to be paid here defaulted to the full amount due for uh, this particular invoice, but we can make a partial payment because we have configured the account to allow cardholders to do that. We could also make this payment for a future date. Uh, so instead of paying today, we could choose to do one uh, later on, but uh, we'll go ahead and make this payment for today. Uh, the payment method dropdown shows us all of the cards that we have on file, allowing us to choose the one that we'd like to use for this particular payment. And once it's set the way that we'd like, we'll click review payments and continue on. The way this merchant is uh, configured, they want a reason for making a partial payment. And then once that reason is entered, you can click confirm payment. It will process the transaction, showing us that it is a success. And then uh, we're free to move on to whatever else we have. Had we scheduled the payment for the future under schedules, it would show a listing of that transaction here. Uh, and our history would uh, give us some search functions where when we click search, it will show us all of the transactions that we've processed successfully so far. And that, in a nutshell, is the Transax Gateway Bill Pay System.